Oh, come on. There we go. Greetings, everyone. BJ Wilder uh, back with you. Press any key. Oh, that's the space bar. For some Star Trek Online here. Massively multi-playing. We're going to go with our uh, Borg. Liberated Borg captain here. Today. In the AFS Abigail Rose. The uh, special starship that... Uh, Spam, uh huh? All right. Let's see what we're going to do here. Boom, go to the Andoria system. Angel Sphere to Tread. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Ugh. Ugh. I know there's a new... Uh, can't join the no-win scenarios. Viable Kobayashi Maru, huh? Episodes heading out. Let's see what we got here. TFO, PVE. Task Force Operation. Maybe we'll do a Task Force Operation. Your main event. This version of the simulation lasts until you complete round six, huh? Average time, 15 minutes. All right, let's see what this is all about. All right, let's go. Let's do this task force operation, why don't we? Only have until June 25th, eh? <laughs> Welcome to the Gamma Hydra training facility. Kay. Today, you'll be running through a modified version of a legendary Starfleet training scenario, the Kobayashi Maru. In this exercise, you must protect the Kobayashi Maru as long as possible. You'll want to keep your teammates alive as well. The conflict will get harder as you progress, thanks to local hazards and attacks from enemy vessels. The scenario will be modified by a number of hazards and affixes. Hazards are environmental difficulties to be overcome during play. Affixes are buffs and debuffs that can be placed on player ships, enemy ships, or every ship in the scenario. This is the Kobayashi Maru. Okay. Gamma in this we have struck Understood. a mine and have lost all power. Our highest penetrated and we use the same There's our uh, special ship. The next wave is incoming. Here we go. Oh, Jesus, the board. Not over yet. The next wave is coming. 
Get ready for another wave. Uh-oh. I don't know where the Kobayashi Maru is. My room over there. It's not over yet. Enemy assault incoming. Survive the onslaught. Click everything. It's out of chaos. No idea where the Maru's at. Excellent. Fleet mark package with daily task force Omega, Rhymalus, Makuru, Dyson Joint, Karen Command Delta Alliance, Iconian Resist Terran Mark. I have no idea. Uh, I guess we'll just go with the Terran Mark. I have no idea. Used in a reputation, okay. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, everyone. This simulation is over. Here. Okay. Well, we didn't get blowed up. That's always a good thing. All right, that was interesting. All right, let's, uh, hmm. Security, report to base six. See, torpedo damage with your ship. Excellent. Yes, we renamed that. Ironic that it was named the Philadelphia. All right, quest, no, quest log episodes. Uh, the Romulan mystery. Klingon war. Cardassian struggle. 
Jewel's Discovery. Where are we at here? Beneath the skin. All right, that's where we were at with that one. Okay. Secrets of Nimbus. Asteroid mining. Uh, tour of the galaxy. Oh, the tour of the galaxy. Yeah. And, oh, the measure of morality. Oh, yes, the uh, tie-in there. Um, hmm. Fifteen minutes. All right, let's accept. Exit. All right, let's beam to the ship. Quadrant, Alpha Quadrant, okay. Right, let's warp to sector, warp to sector space. Alright, go ahead. Get on the potty and I'll come up. The Nimbus system. Alright, so where are we at here? Alright, the Tenebia system. Alright, let's go. No, we're not going to join any random... Romulans were once a passionate, vibrant species, but the loss of their homeworld has left them in ashes. The survivors of the Cataclysm have gathered under the banner of Empress Sela. She has sought out new allies from the Delta Quadrant in an attempt to rebuild the Romulans' former might. And now, she seeks revenge for a lost world and a broken people. All right, Nevia system next. Service 39 Sierra. How about the vendor system? Better than born. All right, yeah, okay. Let's go take care of the child while we're floating along there. Gonna take forever. I need faster impulse speed here. Okay, in the meantime, uh, events. Green of Sun Pack Grand Daily completed. Whoop. All right, so we did that. Five days left, huh? 
So I guess I'm not making 14, huh? I could do a buyout here. These free ships are always cool. So by the time I get there, we should be good. We got plenty of uh, coinage. I guess what we'll do next is the, uh, we'll continue with Jaula here. system. I see to maximize my uh, potential here. It's probably be best hitting this cluster right here. Get as many systems as we can. We gotta head back to Andoria. Or should I just go? I guess we'll go this way. Get started because we only got nine minutes left here. Here, first reporting box, material rank, no QA, okay. Orientation, various stuff there. All my uh, stuff there, ton of energy credits. Quite a bit of refined lithium, that's for sure. Borg lockbox, huh? Nope. Say time's still counting, but we stopped moving. What the heck is that? Scientists are adapting Borg technology to suit their own needs. Cyber the Federation Laura. crew, caught in an impossible situation, fights to survive. But help may not arrive in time. Who will heed their desperate call? In their anguish, the Romulans could cause a greater tragedy than even they imagine. for their crew member. T6 Alliance Battle Cruiser, baby. You 
aussi. C'est des aussi. Plus un. Three of four. Ok. Uh, let's go this one next. I guess I gotta get Rose done actually, huh? Which I probably should have gone to the Vorn system first then. Ah well. Too late to do anything about it now. Solar flares, baby. New respawn point unlocked. Woot. Will, this will start getting us back to the... Uh... So this is where new Romulus is at, huh? Back to our Andoria, so we gotta get to Andoria here. <sighs> Should create a fleet too. The RMG gaming fleet here. Fly right into the sun, star. Uh, the colony ships of the Vulcan after this sundering spent several months on this plant, mostly abandoned since. Oh, I missed it. So, the original home of the Romulans, there's the flotilla there. How about that, huh? on space down here. New Romulus area there. Whatever this is here. Drozana Station. Ooh. Another minute left to go. Just to the Vernet system, that'll probably be that star there. A solar eclipse.
right to the Orion system. We gotta go, I think we gotta go to Andoria. Okay. So we can get to Orion in how long? 40 seconds? Somehow I doubt that's gonna happen. That's it, we're all done. Oh, some initiative, okay. You know, it's a friendly kind of skill this, okay. All right, we're good. All right, let's head to Andoria. Through the nebula, sweet. I guess I should check my du duty officer here. Yeah, I think this is the one that uh, no longer exists. There's all oh the briar patch, yeah. We've done the briar patch I think a couple of times. Different uh different characters. All right, here we go, Andoria.
Guess I could have just done that too, huh? Okay, we're in the Endoria system. Now what? Begin the mission. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to um, Starbase 39 Sierra. Interesting. If I go into the suns, let's go see real quick here. Okay, off to uh, do that, and we'll come back to Andoria. Hmm, that was interesting. Here, a beacon. All right, we're getting there. Starbase 39 Sierra. Let's see. Okay. Something's going screwy here. OK. 
curiosity. All right, let's head. Let's head back to the soul system then. Something's not kicking in here. I wonder if it uh, participating that TFO had anything to do with it. Because I can't. It's not giving me an option to enter any of the systems here. Big personal tray is new, huh? Should, I wonder if I should just queue for uh, another task force thing here. event home. My cellial. Okay, let's see if it's gonna ask me to enter the system here. It's not asking me to enter the system here. All right, let's do this. Let's see if this resets it here. There we go. All right, now let's go to the Andoria system. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah, so something got screwy there. All right. Yeah, I see Starbase Type 4 mission no longer exists. So we can just abandon that. All right, here we go. Here we go, begin beneath the skin. That's what we're trying to do here, all right. Load faster. You have my thanks. The battle was not going well for us before you arrived. Now we have a fighting chance against House Mokai. 
be mindful of their flagship. It has a super weapon of unknown origin, and it is devastating. It's bold of them to attack Andoria in the heart Indeed. of the Federation. We'll need to act fast if we're going to save Andoria. Very well, what can you tell us about the Raiders? The Mokai ships are old, but they've been retrofitted with modern technology. Matriarch Ja'ula has been busy since her arrival from the 23rd century. Look, this cowardly attack took us by surprise. We need to deal with these raiders before that super weapon gets turned on my home world. Agreed? Agreed. We're moving. What's that, Abs? Okay. In just a minute. Wet band-aid, no good. Nobody likes a wet band-aid. Okay, let's uh fire! We'll throw everything we got at them. Okay. A 
Let's see, are we even moving at all? Got him. Okay. That new Mokai weapon is tearing our ships apart. Fire the weapon. Oh, I gotta go over there, okay. Fly through the rift. Okay. We've driven off the Mokai, but they left a very disturbing problem in their wake. We're not exactly sure what that rift is or what it's capable of. I need answers to those questions. Andoria is my home, and I won't let it come to harm on my watch. We'll get to the bottom of this, Captain. USS Hoffman. The LSS this Kaba is also here. My readings are showing a distinct biological presence with qualities hmm. similar in many ways to that of fungi. Very intriguing. I'm afraid astromycology is not my specialty. 
I believe we'll need to consult with an expert in the field if we're to solve this riddle quickly. Mm, experts in astromycology are uncommon. I realize the scientific aspects of the rift are fascinating, but let's not forget this thing appeared as a result of Jaula firing her new weapon. It's not benign. It's meant to do harm. The way I see it, this rift is a ticking time bomb, and we need to shut it down before it explodes. Period. I agree. My hey, Cat, what's going on? a series of research files that could help us. They're old. From the mid-23rd century. Interesting. A good number of them are classified by Starfleet Command. At the highest level. Oh. Old from the mid-20th Okay. Starfleet classify astromycology research. That's a damn good question. Not sure I want to know the answer. <laughs> Look, finding an astromycologist from this century and getting them up to speed on this will take time, and we don't have a lot of that. I propose we create a holographic simulation of the author of these files and put it to work on the problem. Okay, that looks okay. Sounds like a plan, Good. Captain. Let's meet here on the Hoffman. I'll talk to Starfleet about gaining access to these research notes. See you soon. All right, on my way. Oh, yes, uh, the boycott. Yeah, apparently one of the uh, STO fan site podcasts um, is planning a boycott uh, through the weekend, Friday through Sunday, of the game because apparently, well, they haven't, apparently, I guess, it, not cryptic, but I guess perfect world or cryptic or something. I, it's Apparently they haven't done enough in their eyes for Black Lives Matter. They're basically trying to strong arm Perfect World and Cryptic into donating a whole bunch of money to the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm like, yeah, you know, I, you know, I'll boycott when somebody does something wrong. I'm not going to boycott somebody to force them to do something. You know, that just, no, that, I, I'm not all about that at all. Um, yeah, it's not going to do a whole heck of a lot anyway. Yes, I am going to stream, yes, Wizardry on Sunday for X3O Life. Yeah, I'll take everybody with me. What the hell? A Wizardry, uh, Tomb Raider, Farrell, to to and uh, Roller to Coaster and Tycoon. So we're going to hit a, a little bit, you know, we're going to have our RPG, we're going to have our city builder, we're going to have our action adventure game, and then uh, another builder. Our uh, series in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Star Wars and Star Trek, yeah. They, well, that's the whole thing. It's like, you know, it's, come on now. You know, it's just, the whole, the whole thing that they're trying to plan is nonsense, so it's, all right, whatever. So I figured, you know what, the heck with it. You know, I, I, you know, it's been a while since I played Star Trek Online. I said, well, you know what, I'll play it this weekend. Then, the hell with you. <laughs> I will, I will boycott the boycott by playing the game. <laughs> now that's all right. That's yeah. It's. I mean, they, ultimately, they're both inclusive. I think, but yeah, you know, Star Trek definitely has been always. Always, uh, I think, you know, Gene Roddenberry was always one to, uh, you know, buck, buck the trends of the age and, uh, and, and be more forward thinking than a lot of others. Any updates some, on the rift? My people believe we're looking at some kind of quantum level mycelial thread. Mycelial. A giant extra dimensional fungus. Oh, a giant extra dimensional fungus that somehow serves as a portal into another plane of existence. So, how, so, so this is like a discovery tie-in, then. We're working on that with you, the Lucari, and hopefully the hologram we're about to deploy. Let's hope they have the data we need to get the job done. To the holodeck, then! My away team can meet up when we know what uh, we're doing next. This is almost like uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture transporter room here. Ah, okay. the good old hollow deck. Started. 
I'll initiate the basic hollow matrix while you upload and integrate the relevant personality and research data. Understood. I guess I'm going to do that. I'll upload profile. Here we go. Yes, okay. Neverwinter. Also, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're basically, yeah, basically what it is, they're trying to strong arm Cryptic into making a donation is what it is because they feel like, you know, if a business has money, it should be donating to the movement. <laughs> like, and I was like, eh, no, it's like, I, I don't, you know, you know, it's a, obviously we support the movement and all that kind of stuff, but, you know, that's, that's nonsense to... Hello? Force people into translator working. Anyone who's in charge here? You? It's you, isn't it? Yes, me. Computer, reinitialize program. Please state the nature of the mycelial emergency. Talk to the hologram. Uh, Stamets. I assume he's a discovery character. Oh. Stamets. Okay. You know, I was afraid something like this would happen. I told Strahl that our work could get twisted into some sort of weapon. I never expected the Klingons would be the ones doing the twisting. The transdimensional portal, it seems fungal in nature. Give me a second. Reviewing your current data. Got it. Okay, we need to know more about the probes this time-traveling Klingon fired into the mycelial network. I'll run some simulations, see what I can find out. What can you tell us about the network? It's a subspace realm that spans the entire multiverse. That's our universe and all other quantum realities all connected to the network. The network contains the roots of a certain type of fungus, and if you know how, you can use the spores of that fungus to access the network. Interesting. I'm one of the few people to figure out how to do that, by the way. I'm assuming that's why I'm here now. Among other reasons, indeed. The Discovery was equipped with a spore drive, and with it, we were able to travel immense distances almost instantaneously, thanks to the network. It wasn't always an exact science, though. If you weren't careful, you could wind up in another dimension, or another time. Oh, <laughs> interesting. All right, any more questions, or shall we get back to work? Uh, how dangerous... I need more data on this Klingon superweapon, but... If I were to guess, I'd say it's meant to disrupt a localized section of the network. That disruption, in turn, damages the corresponding section in our universe. Problem is, damage in the mycelial network tends to spread and grow in magnitude. Unchecked, this type of attack could spread through the entire network, which would be very bad. And how bad are we talking? Bad on an apocalyptic scale. Simply put, if she keeps doing this, she could bring an end to all life in all universes. Oh, well, that's definitely pretty bad. <laughs> all right, any more questions, or shall we get back to work? Let's get to work. Pure Configure Mycelium Research Laboratory. Nice touch. I'd have been fine with a lab from this century, but it's the thought that counts, I suppose. I'm going to run some calibration tests. I'll need you to handle the radiation and spore saturation levels. And how will that work? I'll start the calibration, then the monitors will show you the level of radiation and spore saturation in the chamber. You'll need to adjust it up or down as we go. Don't let it get too high or too low. If the levels go out of bounds, I'll have to reset the simulation. That's annoying, so don't do it. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Okay, watch the... Okay, so we've got to keep it in the blue console to keep them in the safe range until the simulation completes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, begin the simulation. Oh, okay. Alright, it's just those two. Oh, I gotta do this one again. Oh, here we go. I gotcha. Oh, I gotta get over here. 
The simulation is picking spore saturation is too oh. high. Reduce it before it crashes the simulation. All right, now I'm getting the hang of it. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Gotta go minus 10 on there. Go another minus 10. And minus 10. This has got to go plus 10. Oh, it's got to go plus 20. There we go. This guy go minus. All right, we're good here. Oh, we, we got. All at right. Results. We did it. First thing, we can use the rift to transport into the mycelial network, which is good because we need to go there to figure out what this Jaula is up to. <sighs> what? What? Use the rift to transport into. The, okay. Sorry, got ahead of myself there. I'm detecting radiation coming from the rift of a type unique to 23rd century Klingon tech. It's probably coming from those probes Jaula shot into the network. Okay. Whatever they're doing in there, it's probably not for the benefit of life, the universe, and everything. Mm-hmm. All right, what's next? Sounds like we need to send an away team into this mycelial network to gather more data on the problem and deal with whatever House Mokai is doing there. I'll set up a mobile emitter so Stamets here can go along. I have a feeling we'll need his expertise on the other side of that rift. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, let's do it. Computer and program. Oh, transporter. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. All right. Transporter's ready and standing by to beam you into the mycelial network. Fantastic. I'm sending your ship the adjustments. Your away team will be ready to join you there. Just say the word when you're ready to go. My away team's with me. They've been with me the whole damn time. All right, Good this holograph is going to teleport. Uh, transport. We'll be monitoring from here. Energize. 